ുംകുമാർ <laughs> it it seemed he he couldn't get the i mean uh, the uh, i mean more than 50% of the vote therefore now they are going to count the second choice mm-hmm. now they count the second choice and probably i definitely he is going to win the uh, uh, game and he will be uh, next president of sri lanka so what do you feel about if how he is going to lead the country what do you feel about it? because you have the uh, long uh, history with the uh, sri lankan history um, uh, political history and the experience with the uh, previous leaders as well what do you think about the new leader that he is from, from coming from the marxist concept is not leftist so how he is going to lead the country what do you feel about it but you know that actually uh, the base of the npp is the jvp janata vimukti peruna it a bit nationalist uh, uh, political party but their mass movement is uh, npp npp uh, but they are not marxist any more i mean they, they were they were talking about the uh, liberal capitalism at the moment that means they are not going to change the system but they they were trying to maintain and i mean kind of Uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, new economic policies according to the uh, liberal uh, democracy and they will run the country uh, on that conditions so what do you uh, think the aragalaya uprising uh, uh, in 2022 made the yeah. anrakumar the sanayaka most popular no actually they didn't participate for the aragalaya at all i mean some of them joined the aragalaya at that time but uh they managed to get the harvest of the aragale for their election campaign that's why they i know imagine in 1990 2019 2019 they got only 3% of the vote now you you can see now they reached to the i mean kind of uh, 48% of the uh, percentage of the vote there is a huge huge difference within 5 years time can you imagine a uh, uh, political movement they, they i mean five years ago they got on 3% now they got a 48% it it means um, most of the uh, i mean most popular and the oldest political parties have failed to uh, uh, deliver the things people need in this country so do you think the npp national um, people's power party can actually yeah. bring that a positive change in sri lankan politics yeah the thing is i mean the, i mean in past jvp got some issues with the uh, ethnic issues and the other i mean with the lot of things yeah. but now they are more moderate people moderate they got moderate leaders not like someone say amar singh ho rona vijayvira ho people like that leaders like that but especially anur kumar disanayake and harani amar surya they are kind of moderate people i hope and i wish They, they 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 will they will manage to uh, united sri lanka or united lanka i don't i don't like to call sri lanka united lanka and the, they will work with the tamil people and the muslim people and the other communities probably yeah. i because i i used to interview both of them i feel that way yeah so what do you think uh, the harani amara surya will be the next prime minister do you think of course so, uh, oh this is the third prime minister female prime minister we are getting that's good for us but the problem is rajita you know you know the, the world first prime minister was uh, sirima bandar naik uh, yes. and her daughter became a prime minister and the president of sri lanka but they both run the country i mean they, they were running the country like a, i mean uh, uh, ruling like a men but i feel 
hari ni he's more 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 uh, more posi- i mean more uh, more uh, close to the uh, gender issues and the other things it means i mean uh, Uh, women and uh, children get more protection under the uh, Harani Amar Surya as a Prime Minister. So it's really good news to hear that that uh, Harani Amar Surya ka can be support in some play, way. Play an important pa- role. In, yeah. Important part. Reshape the Sri Lankan, uh, uh, Sri, Sri Lankan country. Political culture, so, yeah. So some of them say that uh, if Anura come to power, Uh, many cause significant hardship for the people. What do you say about that? Uh, but I mean, uh, he I mean he he was telling that he is going to cut the pension for MPs and uh, so so many so many so many um, I mean pensions and the official houses for ex presidents, uh, things like that. And the, I mean they they they, they will cut the uh, uh, I mean expenses of. which is used by the mps and the political leaders of the country that means they can save the money and help the poor people of the country so the corruption and economic democracy was the focal point for the npp's yes. campaign yes. isn't it so how they are yes. going to implement to you know see and solve the corruption um, No, I, at the moment they were working with the kind of, uh, I mean, good, uh, I mean, ex officers like a police department, police officers from police department, and the officers from the cell cell AS, Sri Lanka administ- administrative ser- service. I I think they will help the NPP to run the country uh, uh, proper way to help people and develop the country. Can I give little bit more details? But uh, in uh, earlier talk, when I had the discussion with you, that uh, you you prefer to and wished to uh, have the leader from uh, MPP and Rukmara Dasanayaka to lead the country. So, w- what is your feeling and about why did you uh, wish to bring him? I let the car wish to have as a uh, Sri Lankan president. or from at the moment because you have the previous experience as well so can you give a little bit details of that why did you well, wish for i mean yeah rajita he was in a parliament uh, nearly 35 years and uh, between 19 uh, sorry 2002 to 2003 to 2004 he was the minister of agriculture and ir- irrigation and agriculture he got a uh, little bit of experience on running a ministry and the other things Uh, and he was in parliament more than 35 years some of his colleagues they they were also in parliament nearly 30 years for uh, nearly 20 years like that they got kind of experience and i i feel they, they know how to change the country and how to save the money for the sake of the people at least they they, they came i mean imagine anur kumar he's from tamuttegam uh, i mean uh, uh, Gov. He, he, his father was a, uh-huh. I'm a, a worker for, uh, I think, kind of de- department, and he is a gra- graduated from Ca- University of Kalania, and most of their colleagues, his colleagues, uh, are from you know Sri Lankan universities. They know the hardship of the people, and they they know the situation of the country. Therefore, I feel they will run the country to. help the people and the sake of the country what is the difference between the previous elections and what is the important in the presidency election for sri lanka 2024 i mean i mean if you see the if you see the sri lankan parliament you can see old guys you know they are still hanging in parliament and trying to make a money out of the politics So, so I mean, nearly 150. Uh, I mean, old grand is. I mean, still want to elected as a MPs and get the minister, uh, get get a kind of uh, powerful positions. But it will. Ch- I mean, it will change within two months time, and we will we'll see what will happen to us. Yes, but so, I believe yeah. they, they can change the country. Yeah. uh what is the relationship going to be uh, how is the relationship going to be with india because he is uh, uh, anurag kumar most prefer china everyone guess 
what do you think about no. how we are going to have the relationship with india i mean that is a very i mean very uh, very uh, i mean a kind of a, a very difficult way to handle it because the past i mean 30 40 years we we were trying to uh, bargain with the china and india but i mean at the moment you know the fishermen from north and east they were you know they, what happened to them under the indian fishermen if they i mean if anur kumar anur kumar's government trying to protect the our fishermen then they ha- he he has to deal with the india i mean you 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 mean no the adani is in sri lanka now trying to get everything trying to buy everything i mean adani is i mean modi's right hand man it's not easy to deal with uh, modi's government and the economic policies it will be very difficult but i hope he will be a strong guy to deal with the india but he he promised he he's not going to uh, i mean i mean he 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 will be protect the indian interest and the indian national security that is the only thing uh, i mean we need to deal with india how uh, another thing is very important one that's about uh, most of the tamils are expecting from nppp how what's the how is the relationship going to be with the tamil community or tamil minorities that's because that's the anurag kumar i i guess he didn't get that much vote from the tamils isn't it so how it's going to impact with the tamils issues and expectations i already i mean proposed them to invite for a Uh, tamil leaders to join his uh, his cabinet i don't know whether it happened or not but uh, i mean i mean npp leaders are the moderate guys yeah. they they want to united sri lanka and especially they know what happened to the uh, tamil people especially under the civil war then uh, i mean if you need to united country and peaceful country they sh- they should work with them uh i mean uh, uh, work with and help the uh, uh, other communities especially tamil and muslim communities so that uh, the tamils have the bitter experience i think this in the pre- previous history of uh, tamils that's a north and east separations that's main main involvement with the jvp so so how it's going to be how will be in the i uh, will he allow to jo- rejoin the north and east or what you expect from this uh, issue uh, i don't know i mean uh, uh, i mean sajit premadas uh, he already promised uh, he will uh, i will he will give you the 30 13 plus which is i mean tamil people are looking for years and years uh, but uh, np not the npp but the jvp they were against the uh, uh, 13 plus nearly uh, nearly 10 years so oh, 10 or 15 years but if you became a leader of country and you need the full, full support of the other communities then they, they 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 should do something for other communities because he is a singular leader but he should think about the future of the country and the peaceful country he must work with the tamil community and muslim community so now another thing is the tamil community they, they at the moment the, the, in the present situation they are talking about the plurinationalism they often talk about the main uh, discussions and everywhere so what do you think about this idea of uh, plurinationalism they are expecting from the uh, as you said the united sri lanka uh, i mean when you think about the india you know our big brother they always talking about the rights of the tamil people of sri lanka if you go against the india it not easy to run the country this is my feeling they, they must uh, uh, i mean fulfill the indian uh, uh, interest as well so why is so india is more interested on sri lanka do you think that's because the some people are hates about the indian in, influences on sri lankans most of the things i think in, in economic development as the security development 
and uh, in, in many, uh, many cases why is this is we, we can notice that uh, Indian media is more or oh, most interested on uh, Sri Lankan election at the moment uh, compared with the previous uh, elections why they got much uh, influence because you know the Delhi and the new Delhi wants to avoid the Chinese influence in Sri Lanka that is the main thing uh, because it I mean it depend on the their, it depend on their national interest and national security I think I, I don't I don't think uh, the India you know, the India is always thinking about the Tamil community in Sri Lanka or up country a Tamil community but their main interest is on their national security and uh, nat uh, uh, national interest therefore I mean if you go against the India it's a very powerful country now it will be a powerful country within 10 to 15 years I mean world second large ec economy within 10 years time then we should deal with them and try to protect our interests, I mean Sri Lankan interest, as much as possible. But and it was easy game. Hmm. It was easy game, thing, uh, President, uh, our President Ranil Vikramasinghe often says that uh, if, uh, if I am not come to the power, that's where you can see the queue again. So yeah. that's, uh, he's going that's to leave uh, yeah, what do you think about that statement now? Because it's, it's oh, he, yeah. he's not in all the people, isn't it? Yeah, of course, he was warning about the situation. I mean, what will happen to uh, the country within six months' time. But I hope, you know, India doesn't need, uh, I mean, situation like in Bangladesh or, uh, or Maladivaina, Maladivain, because, you know, what happened to the uh, Khalida uh, Sheikh Hasina? Which she she was I mean she was uh, very close to the India, but when people I mean turn against uh, Sheikh Hasina, mm -hmm. India couldn't help the uh, their national interest. Imagine in Maldives now they in Maldives they got very uh, pro Chinese policies, yeah. but in Sri Lanka we can't do the same thing because uh, we are very close to India and we are and strategically very important to India as well therefore I mean we have to negotiate with the New Delhi for our future uh, operations and the future works <laughs> so it's uh, unavoidable isn't it to uh, without India that's we can't make the more changes on uh, Sri Lankan situation. So another thing is that's a very important thing is so the IMF matters. How uh, NPP a government, if they come to the power, how they are going to uh, deal, with. deal with that, handle with that? You see, uh, Rajita, you ca they can't do nothing without IMF. Mm. You understand? Because, you know, without IMF loans, we can't run the country. They can't avoid the IMF. We have to deal with IMF. We have to get the loan from IMF. Because within two years, three years time, you can't develop the country. You can, I mean, you are, now, now now they are promising us, you know, they will, uh, based on, a, uh, I mean, export and uh, kind of uh, production, I mean, uh, uh, making things and exporting things and making money. But suddenly you can't do that. Till you manage to get your making your own dollars, you have to get the loans from the IMF. This that is the reality they should face, and they should obey as well. As NPP promised in their campaign, uh, election campaign manifest. Um, do they have the adequate plan to run the country? What do you think? Yeah, it's kind. Of, they got kind of a rough. Uh, guideline for that but you know you can't you can't you can't you can't uh, uh, I mean uh, see the Kendra kind of horoscope on the what will happen in the future but uh, you have to face the reality and make new decisions and do so many changes to develop the country and to protect the people thank you very much uh, Nandana do you have any questions sir, with it? 
No, no, Rajit. Uh, I hope uh, we will uh, manage to live in the same country without problems and peace in harmony. This is only hope wish. I my hope. Yeah. Yeah. Hope for the best. Yeah. Thank hope you very much yes. for your time and thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rajat. Thank you, Inviting me, Rajat. Thank you.